Now, renovating a rambling old house can be stressful and, some might say, no laughing matter. But, funnily enough, it is for one man who's turned his experience into a stand-up comedy routine. We've met the American comic opera Dupree before as he works on returning his ancestral home to its former glory. So, Dave Guest, and to see how he's getting on. It's a stately pile just outside Rochdale that, sadly, has seen better days. For centuries, Hopwood Hall was home to the Hopwood dynasty. And now there's a new Hopwood at the helm, comedian Hopwood Dupre. No, Bob, tell me, tell me what? He's like, we've been in bed. <laughs> but he isn't joking when he says he intends to restore this rambling ruin to its former glory and transform it into a venue for the whole community to enjoy. So this is the room where my 14th great-grandfather would have been born. In this very room? In this room. So you feel a real connection to this building. Incredible connection, yeah. As you can tell, Hopwood isn't from round these parts. He was born in the States and was living in LA when he stumbled across his connection to Hopwood Hall. He'd been researching his family history. So I got on a plane and came over and gotten involved. It changed my whole life. We first met Hopwood on Northwest Tonight a couple of years back when he embarked on his ambitious project. I don't want to be rude, but it doesn't look like there's much progress. <laughs> Well, there's a lot of progress, it's just behind the scenes. We have a lot of infrastructure in place now that's uh, really helping. Uh, we've been also doing emergency works, saving a lot of artifacts, saving a lot of areas that have been damaged by water ingress. Local folk have offered help and support, as have Rochdale Council, the National Lottery and Historic England. Once you've done the emergency works, once you've got it weather tight, then what happens after that? Hopefully with further funding unlocked and, and other uh, opportunities arising, we can start to look at individual rooms, um, we can start to look at wider structural repairs um, and start to really kind of uh, bring up the, the interior of the building. Hopwood has turned the ups and downs of the project into a regular YouTube broadcast. We're here with our electrician Ian and we are ready to light it up. Somebody went in there and tore a hand-carved wooden panel off the wall. And, and he's the using the story as the basis for a one-man show that he'll be performing over the next few weeks. But the serious business of getting this place back into shape continues. He dreams of having it all up and running within five years. We'll keep you posted. Dave Guest, BBC Northwest Tonight, Middleton. Good title, that one. Yeah, very good. The Anchors of Mank. <laughs>